Many of you asked for a bayonet twist lock version of the fume extraction system, and so at long last, I now proudly bring you V3. No more magnets. Magnets are cool, but let's be honest, they're a pain in the ass. Sometimes they fall out, sometimes you glue them in wrong, and sometimes they're just too bloody expensive. And most annoying of all, the magnetic system was prone to bumps and could easily become disconnected. This new version can be printed 100% without the need for any support material. The steepest overhang is 45 degrees, so your printer shouldn't have any issue at all printing these parts with supports disabled. In your slicer, I've included a Fusion 360 file, which by the way, you can use this for free with a hobby license, you don't have to pay for it. All you gotta do, click download, download STL, and then at the bottom you'll see F360, once in a six side ventilation V3.f3d, download that file, open it in Fusion 360. And what's really great is this is fully parametric. So if you come up to modify and then click on change parameters, that's gonna bring up all the associated parameters. At the top here, I've put the most important ones that you might wanna change, starting with tolerance. So right now by default, the files come with a 0.2 millimeter tolerance. And I find for my printer specifically, the V400, this is perfect. Um, but if you find this is too tight, what you could do is say, increase this by a tenth of a millimeter, try 0.3, or if you found it was too loose, you could go the other way down to 0.1. And then when you update your tolerance, it's going to affect the coupling. So not this piece in the middle, but this outer piece here. So you'd only need to reprint that. Since we're getting rid of as much hardware as possible on this version by doing away with the magnets, I figured we'd also do away with one of the bolts as three is more than enough for a nice strong connection. However, this is backwards compatible, so if you're coming from version 1 or version 2, which, by the way, to eliminate any confusion, version 1 was what was posted here on printables, and version 2 was posted here on MakerWorld, and this was the release where it first became parametric. And you can see there's a Fusion file here as well. Now, if you've already drilled some holes and you're coming from version 1, what you're going to need to do is update the bolt count, either to 4, or eight, whichever you prefer. You could get away with four, even if you drilled eight holes, but um, yeah, you could do either. And then importantly, you need to change the bolt offset here. Now in the comments over to the side, I have written the information you need to know. So if you're coming from V1, you need to change to 52.494. So you just click on the expression and then just paste that in there, 52.494. And now those holes will line up perfectly with your V1 holes. And then same thing if you're coming from V2, then you're gonna to wanna to use this parameter here, 53.25. So just copy that, paste it into the expression, and now those will be a perfect fit if you drilled for V2. I do apologize for that. I realize that's not ideal, but um, when I released V2, I didn't realize that I didn't model it exactly the same as V1. I thought I had, but uh, yeah, the, the distance of these holes from the center was slightly different, and then that's why we have this discrepancy. And then for version three, by default, just to keep things nice and round and simple and clean, I've gone with 51 as the default. Now, if you're unfamiliar with Fusion 360, after you've made any adjustments, to get the STL file, all you gotta do is come over here to the side, expand this little window, come down to bodies, expand that, and then you'll find body one for the source coupling here. Right click on it, click on save as mesh, and then over here, make sure this is set to STL, unit type millimeter, refinement, high that's the quality basically and then hit ok give it a name if you like choose where you'd like to save it and then hit save and that's it you should now have a brand new STL file with the updated tolerance or bolt holes or bolt offset whatever changes you needed to make now you've got an STL that you can send to your printer we've got a few different options for covers for when your hose isn't connected we got the triangle, this one uses the least amount of filament and prints the quickest. The hexagon, this one uses a bit more filament and takes a little bit longer, but I think it has the best hand feel. And then finally we have the orc, which is a member exclusive. So everything else is free, by the way. You, you can go download this stuff for free right now and make a world. But the orc, if you want this one, I have made this a member exclusive. I gotta make money somehow. <laughs> so a great way to say thanks if you do implement this and upgrade your resin 3D printing safety, you can come join my membership and get yourself the orc, uh, as well as a bunch of other cool STL files actually. There's a ton of stuff in the welcome back, so it's great value. Um, and in fact, for this month of June 2024, there is a bunch of exclusive files 
that have been donated by Dungeons and Dreadnoughts, Arcane Whiskers, Artificers Mini, Imp3D Sion, Lucas with a C, Moid, Neoteric Miniatures, Skulltown Minis, Smuggler Boutique, and Tractor Minis. And I'm very grateful to all these artists. I mean, there is some really cool shit here. So yeah, it's great value. Come sign up, come be a member, come get the orc. But uh, if not, that's also cool. Go check out these artists. And yeah, please enjoy this free fume extraction system. I really, really hope that this helps mitigate the risks for resin 3D printing for a lot of you out there, because I know it's not practical or possible for many of you to like put your printers outdoors in safe areas. So something like this is a, is a really great way. It's easy, it's low cost, and yeah, it's, it's just... Why take the risk when we can so easily vent this stuff outside? Oh, and if, if this is the first time you've ever been exposed to this ventilation system, you only need a few other components to make it work. Basically, you just get some of this cheap ducting stuff. Uh, this is the 4-inch hose, and I just got it on eBay. You can get it on Amazon as well, and then you just buy yourself a 4-inch inline fan. And then if you've got a sliding window, you're in luck, because it's really easy to just install like a piece of timber with drill a hole in it. Oh, and you'll need a hole saw as well. This cost me like 15 bucks. They're not expensive. If you don't have a drill though, then that's gonna be a problem. You can get a cheap one, I guess, but I don't know. A drill is one of those things where if you can stretch for it, it's really worth it to spend a bit more and get yourself a nice one because it's going to last you years and you're, you're going to find endless uses for it. And you'll be grateful to yourself every time you use it that you did buy a nice one. Um, <laughs> that's my opinion on tools. Uh, what is it? Buy, buy once, cry once. But yeah, go forth, be safe, and uh, enjoy this new system. I think it's great. I I'm really really happy with the way this works it's so satisfying and yeah it's it's robust because i would always knock the other one loose like i've got my counter on wheels so if i push that around then the hose would disconnect fall to the ground and yeah it could be a real pain but this one it's not going anywhere all right so that was just a quick update thanks for watching and uh yeah cheers bye, -bye.